Hey, welcome to Feeding the Multitude. My name is Lori and uh, this is my home. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and joining me. We are, well, I'm trying to deal with issues here about preparing meals for the hurried, harried family. Nutritious meals, healthy meals, and hopefully summertime meals. So today we're going to do kebabs, which are always fun. I'm not going out on the grill though because that's my husband's domain. I'm not allowed to go out there. So today we'll cook them indoors. For those of you who don't have your own grills, live in an apartment or something, that'll work too. So we're going to make beef kebabs, at, at teriyaki beef kebabs that are very easy to pick up at Kevin Joseph's at Joseph's Meat Market. And I'll tell you all about that afterwards. Then we're going to make a lovely grilled corn and barley salad to go with that with lots of veggies in it, so that's a one dish meal. And then for dessert, we're having a little summer berry pudding, which is really easy to make. So, that's our lineup. Let's get started. Um, have some stuff that we have to get going ahead of time. Now barley, for those of you who are not familiar with it, most of you are, because you have beef and barley um, soup, okay? It's just lovely little barley. What I've been doing is soaking it. It is a grain that takes a little bit longer to soak, so I mean to cook. So if you soak it ahead of time, it takes the cooking, uh, cuts the cooking time right in half. So I want to get that started because that's going to be our longest cooking thing today. I've got a pot of hot water going on the back stove, so I'm just going to put that right in and get that cooking. And get some of this cold water out of here. Okay. All right, now you want to make sure you salt your water because that will flavor your barley. It has no flavor. We want to enhance it, so plenty of salt, two big heaping pinches. Okay, I'm going to cover that and let that come back up to a boil. I got plenty of water in there. We're not cooking this barley to absorb all the water like you would rice or something like that. I just want to boil it till it's just tender to the bite, a little bit of a crunch left. And we're going to cool it down, we're going to toss it with some veggies and a little dressing that I'm going to make. So, all right, next thing we're going to start on is our kebabs. And I've got a bunch of veggies to work on to put on kebabs. And with kebabs, they're really easy, but you know, it's one of those things we forget to do sometimes. And wow, they just have a great wow factor, and they're easy to do. You can make them up ahead of time. Um, so why not make them, right? Okay, I have some mushrooms here. Now, mushrooms are very porous. You do not need to wash them with water. When you do that, you lose a lot of the flavor. So just brush them, okay, with a paper towel or a clean dishcloth. We're actually going to cut these in half. Oh! Watch it. If you don't like mushrooms, put something else on. And you could put fruit. But it's just nice. You can get them all done the night before, have them covered up on a, sh on a cookie sheet, and then when you get home from work, pop them under a broiler or pop them on the grill, and you get a really fast supper. There's no need. And you know, and you can nowadays you can even go and have these all made. Supermarkets cater to people grabbing stuff and having the kebabs already assembled. And I said, you know, that's true. And if you have the money to do that, go ahead and have that convenience. But I would like to spend my money on other things other than that convenience. I'd rather take a few minutes and do it myself and then save that money for new dishes or something, or new goblets or napkins. Something lovely and pretty that stays forever. <laughs> okay. Mushrooms done. And we got some red and green peppers here for color. Again, if you don't like peppers, leave them out. Cut them in half. I like to take the guts right out with my finger. Everybody has their own little way of doing peppers and I think this is the easiest way for me. Just pop it right out. Okay. So 
since I was in to Kevin's the other day, Joseph's Meat Market, you guys all know, well, a lot of you go there, but um, you should go check out their brand new shiny shelves and their refrigerator systems. It's beautiful. I went in there and I'm like, ooh, shiny, very shiny. And he's got a beautiful produce, so you can do a one-stop shop there, actually. It's really nice. I got all these veggies, the mushrooms, everything there, so that was really convenient for me. They're going in to get meat anyways. Okay. So I'm cutting these in fairly big chunkies. Did I say chunkies? Can you say chunkies? I'm not sure if you can say chunkies. Yes, you can. And since we're doing a barley salad, but you can do this over rice, serve it with some just simple rice. Um, that would be nice. You want to assemble all of your kebab ingredients. When you go to start skewering them, you have them all together and ready to go. And you want to think about color, too, because color, visual interest is always nice. I'm going to put my uh, oven on broil. And our barley has come back to a boil. So let's turn it down just a little bit. All right. Red onion is also really nice to have. Okay, I'm gonna cry. I'll try to hold it together as much as I can. All right, so we got our kebab stuff ready to go. Now, um, you can buy metal ones, um, but I like the wooden ones too, especially if you're gonna do a lot of people, having a lot of metal ones around for a while. But there are some things you have to do ahead of time, like soak the, the sticks. These are made out of wood, so if you stick them in the oven, they're gonna set on fire, they're gonna turn all black, and very unattractive. So I just have them soaking in a shallow dish of water here and that'll just keep it from burning. Okay, so these are, like I said, I just stopped into Joseph's. He has a wonderful selection of meats that you can just go and pick up. They're already marinated and what they do is they shrink wrap the flavor right in there. So all of that um, marinade is just in the meat. So that's wonderful. So if you are in a rush, don't stop at the drive-thru, go in, you know, just grab some food. And if you, if you don't have time to marinate yourself, at least you can have it marinated. And they always use great quality meat. And like I said, they have it all ready for you. All you gotta do is open the back, literally, and it's all ready to go. So that's a fun thing. They've got all flavor. They got chicken, they got beef. Um, this is a teriyaki one, which I thought would be kind of fun. Okay. The meat out here and I am going to cut this up. Oh this smells good. Okay let me get a little bowl here. All right I'm pouring the juice in a bowl because what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that and I'm going to brush it over our um, vegetables. And you say, oh my gosh, you're putting, you know, juice that meat was marinated in. Um, it's not chicken. It's beef and this is all going to be cooked. So we're all good with that. All right. So we want to cut up our meat in chunks that are somewhat bite-sized but not too small either that they about about this size. You want to pair it up with your with your peppers. Oh, this smells really good. Okay. 
So anyway, you can, I want you to, like I said, I mostly what I like to do when I'm watching TV shows, cooking shows, or even looking through a magazine, it's just getting an idea. And one of the things I'll do is I'll forget it, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So keep a little notebook um, handy in your kitchen. And so when you see something or you somebody, a friend tells you about something they tried or whatever, you think, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Write it down in a notebook. And that way you have it. You'll have call it your meal idea notebook. And you can just go to it and say, oh, yeah, that's right. So, you know, you just got to remember things. I forget things. My mind is, like, gone. <laughs> it's not here anymore. Uh, okay. So we're just going to skewer our lovely components to our kebabs here. Do a couple of onions there and I'm actually going to slice these mushrooms in half and I keep the stem right on. Okay, another piece of meat. Beautiful. And then a nice green pepper on top. So very nice, very pretty. I'm going to put that on and you probably want to plan about two kebabs per person and that's a great another um, meal stretcher because with all of that and some rice that's plenty if you were to put a, you know that much meat in front of somebody just write itself on a plate they go what the heck is that so there's ways of disguising that you're not feeding your family such big chunks of protein like we don't need so much of did I do that wrong? I did. Does it matter? No, but some of you out there might be freaking out, so I'm going to stay with the program. Put our meat on. And what I do, my mushroom next. Mushroom. And then we did another piece of meat. Oh, I forgot an onion in there somewhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's okay. We're fine. Green pepper on top to finish out. Okay. Oh, red pepper again. My gosh, I'm going to get hung up about this, okay? Then it's going to ruin my whole joy of making kebabs to begin with. Okay. And then we put an onion on top. Okay, a mushroom on top of that, another piece of meat, and a green pepper on top of that. Loving it, loving it. Okay, oops, red pepper. <laughs> Sorry, what's wrong with me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> how many times can you do something and still not remember it? <laughs> Here's the question of the day. I have no idea. Probably about five or six times, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, goodness sakes. All right. Like I said, you can do this easily the day ahead of time and get these all done. Like I guess if they're all being cooked, any bacteria or whatever is going to be cooked off when you put them either on the grill or under the boiler like we're going to do today. Oh, mushroom. I should have cut these all in half. That would have been the old and a little quicker. Okay, mushroom. And then some red onion. Okay, we're good. Everybody's fine. We're good. Yeah, I'm going to make you watch every one of these skewers, okay, in case you guys are having a hard time out there. If you miss it the first time, you're going to see it eight more times, okay? So all of you guys who are a little slow like me, yeah, we're going to skewer every single one of these together. All right? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to take a break. You're going to stay right here with me. You are not leaving me. 
We're going to stay right here as I skewer everything that's going on. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if you need to take a bathroom break, go ahead, because I'll still be skewering when you get back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't take it. <laughs> oh, okay. I just split a mushroom. Great. Oh, that's better than splitting a nail, I suppose. <laughs> that make me scream on television. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Okay, I just hear the rooster screaming out there. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe there's a bird in the area, a hawk or something. Okay, one more skewer down. <laughs> okay, we'll just keep skewering until we follow everything, get on everything here. All right. If I had one of my boys here, they could, you know, they could be skewering while I was doing something else bizarre, but they're not. Onion and the meat and the green pepper. Another one down. Another green. I'm probably gonna run out of peppers before I run out of meat. <laughs> so I can use it for something else. Mushroom. Everything's always better on a stick. For my catering jobs I have, you put something on a stick, everybody wants it. Give me one of those! Oh, those are so cute! They are cute. Okay. And another one. Instant replay. <laughs> hey, is this Groundhog Day? <laughs> Did she just do that five times ago? Yes, she got a 20th skewer. <laughs> Stay with me, guys, okay? You only have me for a short period of time, so let's just stay together, okay? No commercial breaks. There's nobody out there anyway that cares. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I'm telling you. Oh, I just split my mushroom. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can fit all of this on here now. I'm not sure. It's a little edgy. We'll put a little pepper on top there. That's kind of fun. Okay, one more time. Yeah, you're seeing it live. Okay. Oh my gosh, is that her 25th one? <laughs> oh, okay. So, we're getting close to the end now, okay? <laughs> There's so much left, I can't even stand it. All right, pepper, and then we have a mushroom we're going to put on there. And then we're going to put on another piece of meat. I'd have had this down packed by now. <laughs> I got a ringing in my ears. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe I peppered too much. <laughs> Maybe I was skewered too many things. <laughs> my ears are ringing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I only have three more skewers left. Hold on, guys. We're finishing up here. Oh my goodness, it's so close. You guys have been really troopers. You are handling this really well. <laughs> Most people would have caved by now. <laughs> they would have just jumped out of their skin and gone, my gosh, I can't watch it anymore. <gasps> the brutality of all that skewering is just too much. Hey, just think about this for a second. In medieval times, I mean, they used to skewer people. That I can't even imagine the cruelty of the Dark Ages. Let's think about that for a second. They, they called it impaling somebody. And, you know, and I just... I just can't imagine what could go through somebody's mind, a human mind, to, no matter what somebody ever did, to ever be able to physically impale somebody. I can't imagine it. It just makes me lightheaded just thinking about it. So I won't think about it unless I have to think about it five money a while up from now or something. I don't know. Okay, we're going down. This is the second to last one of the day. So if you haven't gotten it down yet, make sure you pay close attention. Because I will be finishing up. <laughs> Oop. Okay. Little onion here. Oop. And wait a minute. I'm not like that. I got it right. Okay. And then pepper. Okay. Now we're going on to the last one. Here we go. You guys. I'm so proud of you. Sticking in there with me. Lesser people would have caved. You're good. 
All right. Onion and a mushroom and another chunk of meat and green pepper. Yes, I've done it. You've done it with me. We've been together forever. All right, let me just clean up my little mess here. Oh, boy. That's just, woo, I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> that was a little bit too much. Don't do this all in one day. Do this ahead of time. That way, you know, <laughs> setting the table and skewering, you're not doing it the same day. It could be a little bit too much. <laughs> I need a nap. <laughs> oh, okay, so we have some vegetables left over. And if you do, do not chuck them. We'll save them for a stir fry or something later. And our little chunks of meat. I'll put that on the side too. A little mess, y'all. Oh, wait. Oh, there. <laughs> all right. Now we're all cleaned up. Life is good. Okay. Put these back out of the way. this so we kind of have our skewers fit the most in there and one down the middle that'd be kind of fun can okay, get a little brush Ooh. My barley is boiling. I'll just check it while we're here. Ooh, that looks almost done. Mmm, mmm, they're very close. Oh, yep, they're good. And there's plenty of salt in there, so they're really good. All right, so we're taking a little bit of our marinating sauce, and we're just going to put it over our vegetables. Do not save that for another application. That is fine. So I'm going to put these in the oven. <clears throat> on the top rack of my broiler. And close the door. Okay, so the barley is almost done. So I'm going to start working on um, the veggies for it. So let me get this on high here. Okay, so I just put some oil in. You can use whatever you want, canola, olive oil, whatever you want for oil. <laughs> I'm not a fanatic about those kind of things. All right, so what I have is I have some corn, and of course, you know, when corn is in season, you can just cut it right off the, off the cob. That's really fresh and nice. We're not there yet. So I have frozen corn. And you want a really hot pan because essentially what we're doing is we're going to get some caramelization on the um, on the vegetables, especially the corn. And where it has been frozen, I'm going to need the pan to be hot, so the liquid, especially the little, you know, because it's been frozen, it's got a little bit more moisture in there. I want that to evaporate really fast so I can start getting some browning. I've also cut up um, some red and green bell pepper for some color and a little extra flavor. So we have little green, so it's a half of each, a half of a green pepper and half of a bell red pepper. Um, some corn and some parsley. I wish we have extra vegetables back here we could use. I don't know, what do you think? Maybe I'll leave that, no. I've already got most of the stuff that I need anyway, so I don't think I want to put mushrooms in there because this is going to be kind of one of those salads that uh, best room temperature, even cold. So this is not going to be like a hot thing, although you could make it there, I suppose. You could make it um, 
you know, a hot salad, but I'm going to make a vinaigrette to go with it, so um, that'll be con conducive to bringing it like on a picnic or something because it doesn't have a mayonnaise base, so it can be room temperature. Um, and like the longer it takes to meld all the ingredients, the, the better it's going to taste too. So we're going to start putting in our ingredients and we're going to have a really a little sizzle going on there. I don't want to burn myself, so be careful. Corn is going in, peppers are in, and when the water and the oil mix causes a little bit of a chemical reaction, so stand back a little bit. Okay. Put these away. And while we were taking a break, the barley is done, so I'm just going to rinse that in our colander and I'm going to rinse it with some cold water, stop the cooking. Let that cool down a little bit. Now this would be a good salad just to have if you're a vegetarian. Um, very healthy for you. Great to take the lunch, pack it up. Okay, so I'm going to add. I know you guys are going to be freaked out there, but I'm going to be adding some salt and pepper to my veggies. I'm going to check on our... Oh, our skewers are looking so lovely. Look at them. One of my six person to flames. <laughs> We're going to take a quick commercial break when that happens, but not now, okay? Everything's safe right now. All right, so some salt and some pepper. You may, 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 may. And a little garlic. I'm just putting a little garlic powder in here. You're saying, where's the fresh garlic, Lori? I do use it sometimes, but not today. Everything has its applications. Okay. So, look how pretty that is. That's going to be so pretty with that barley. Okay, so let's get some prep work done. I'm going to put some fresh parsley in there too. And this knife is not big enough to do what I need to do. I want something wide enough to go right across here. This is a good knife for chopping things, but it's a little harder to rock because your, your fingers are hitting the the cutting board was higher up so I could just bring it my knife right across and get a quick dice in here. Just thinking I'm gonna need a bigger bowl to put my barley thing in. There's our parsley. Okay. So I'm wondering if my lovely um, camera lady would buy, get, grab me a bowl down that shelf. <laughs> She's gonna kill me, but I'm gonna make her do it. Just that bottom. Yep, the bottom one. Yep, that'll be big enough for me. You know, I can't just have her standing there waiting for me to throw food at her. I gotta put some, I gotta get, put her to work somehow. Yeah, she's not gonna show her face though, but she's really cute. You should see her. She's just adorable. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my barley in here. Much bigger bowl to toss everything in. I'm going to get 
some glass bowls. I, you know those really, I, I've noticed the Food Network, all the stars have the same bowls. But I am looking for some nice big glass bowls, everybody knows where they are. I have some shallow ones, but I really like those nice deep ones, so you guys can see everything without me having to tip my, uh, my dish all the time. So, email me if you have any ideas. Or if you just want to send one to me, that'd be great too. <laughs> I'm not, you know, proud. <laughs> I will take whatever. Okay, now we're going to make a little vinaigrette to go in our salad. We don't need a lot because I don't want this to be over the top. So vinaigrette, a little vinegar. I'm going to put in some Dijon mustard. Oh! Careful. That'll help emulsify um, the dressing. Okay, I just want to show you Okay, how nice and brown that's getting. That's perfectly nice. It won't take long. Almost done. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of agave nectar in here. You could use honey. I like agave because it's really neutral in its sweetness. And then our oil. Let me just get this whisked around here. Okay, and then while I'm whisking, drizzle the oil in slowly. Whisking vigorously so your arms are going to fall off. If you guys have a weak stomach, turn your head right now. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going to try that, see what that tastes like. If my face puckers in beyond all imagination, you know I don't have enough oil in there. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. The only thing I need is what? A little salt and pepper? Wow, that's perfect. People are going to nail that one by eye. <laughs> All right, I'm getting hungry. In fact, I'm starving. All right. So we have our barley in here. All we have in here is, is parsley right now, okay? Just parsley. I'm going to put a little bit of our dressing. I don't want to overdress this because it's not about the dressing. It's just a little back note there. It's really about the salt. <laughs> the dressing just holds the salt in place. It suspends it in a state of anim animation or something. But so most of the flavor is going to come from these lovely grilled vegetables. Woo! And they are done. Wow. This is coming together quickly with those lovely vegetables. Don't be afraid to experiment with making salads of all sorts. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen? You throw it out. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Lovely. Oh my. Mm. Nature has provided us with all the visual stimulation that we need. That's why I didn't put makeup on today. <laughs> you guys are stimulated enough by the food I'm making. <laughs> I don't need to put makeup on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you probably didn't even recognize me, right? When the camera came on me, he was that uh, taking Lori's place. <laughs> Skewers are done. Let's put this back here. 
in a little bit here. All right. So let's plate some of these. I like my meat medium rare, so you keep them in a little bit longer, but not me. Aren't those pretty? And you could serve these with a little little wraps if you wanted to, um, and they could just you know grab their pita bread or something and just scrape the meat and the vegetables off and make a sandwich out of it. That would be nice. Okay. That's going on here. If anybody wants to, you know, come and watch the show being filmed and help do dishes afterwards, I'll be taking names and numbers. <laughs> Just give me a little jingle. <laughs> you get to sample the food afterwards too. That's a little something fun, right? Ugh. Okay. Now, dessert. Let's talk about that because we've got our meal done. Now, I had to do this ahead of time. So I hope you guys won't mind. And I kind of experimented. Um, this is not normally how I make my, um, my puddings, but I thought it might be something fun different to do. And so this is a summer berry pudding. And I usually make it in a, like a nine by 13 layering bread and fresh fruit that's been um, hanging out with sugar. Um, but I decided to try it and see what it tastes like or see how cute it would be in little portion control cups. So I'm just gonna see if I can pop these out onto here. And it's, I'm telling you, it doesn't look like it's anything special, but it tastes really, really good. And with cream. little doll whipped cream and what else you could do is maybe drizzle um, you can like puree like um, some raspberry preserves with maybe even a little bit of wine and you could drizzle that over and make it look really pretty but <laughs> this is nice all by itself all right let's flip my board here because we all know what time it is right <laughs> it's time for Lori to eat in front of all of you <laughs> okay so we'll get a nice helping of our lovely, beautiful, look at this. Come on, come on. It is gorgeous. Anybody would love to have that, including myself, which I'm going through right now. <laughs> Let's see how this. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? That is good, but I'm going to put a little bit more dressing in. Since I put the vegetables in, it has soaked up some of the dressing, so I'm putting a little bit more in. You guys wouldn't know that. I could just fake that, but I'm just telling you. Taste it. Wow, that's good. Very good. All right, well, let's take my skewer apart here. Try a big chunk of meat. That meat is so tender and it's so infused with that teriyaki that has been sitting in that bag that the guys at Joseph put together. Mmm. 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 This is about as healthy as I'm going to get. <laughs> and I, mmm. Wow. And this is all really good. Did I even use any butter today? No. Cream. No! And I'm satisfied. Um, <laughs> oh, wow, very good. Okay, let me try a little bit of dessert here. And you look inside, there's a fruit inside. And the bread. Mm. 
it's just soaked up all the juices of the fruit. So it's like you cooked it. You, you didn't cook it. You just, it's just white bread. Trim the crust off. It's really yummy. And it's great for summer dessert. And it doesn't heat your house up either. Okay. So that's another quick meal on the table. A short amount of time. The salad can be prepared ahead of time. The barley could be and put in the freezer for future. Bank your food in your freezer. This could be done the day ahead. Covered saran wrap so you're all ready to go. You could have a great little dinner party midweek and not freak yourself out. Okay? So, I hope you've learned something. I want to thank uh, Dean and Kathy and Uncle Dean. And I thank Joseph's Meat Market, Kevin Joseph, for sponsoring this show and for providing the ingredients today. Get out and feed somebody. I'll miss you till we see each other again. See you later.